Uh, my name's Mark Germer, uh, and I'm a pianist. My parents made me take piano lessons when I was five, and I hated it. I always wanted to quit, and I refused to do anything and learn anything. And I took them all the way up until I was 16, and I still hated it, refused to learn stuff and practice at home. And then I finally decided that I kind of liked it, and I went to a music store and found a score to uh, uh, Rachmaninoff's Prelude in G minor and decided that I wanted to learn this. And from there on I was just kind of hooked and just started learning everything that I should have been learning that whole time. Uh, something that kind of changed the way that I looked at like performing and music was um, when I was like 14 I was volunteering at a hospital and I was just playing piano in the lobby and you'd pretty much see the same people all the time because they're just visiting you know their loved ones and, uh, that were like staying upstairs and one day, this lady that always came, she came every week, I'd see her. She'd sit down and listen, and she'd go upstairs and visit her husband. And then I'd still be there when she'd leave, and she'd sit and listen for a while, and then leave, and she was always really nice, and had nice compliments and stuff. And then finally she asked if I could come upstairs and play something for her her husband who was in a, he couldn't leave his bed, he was in uh, intensive care. And I went up there and played Yesterday by the Beatles, because it was his favorite song and I just happened to know it. And uh, I actually couldn't go into the room because he was in such bad shape, but I could still like see him laying there. And then, you know, played the song you know, she said, thank you, thank you, and I said, okay, and I left, and then didn't, you know, because I was a 14-year-old kid, I didn't really think much of it, and then came back the next week, and she was there when I showed up to play and told us that he had died, like, a couple hours after that, and it was just really weird that I was the last, like, music that he heard ever and it just kind of stuck with me. Right now, I'm just trying to be, uh, I'm just trying to be probably the best pianist that I can be. I'm just getting all my technique and skills and chops down and knowing all the repertoire that you need to know. And I want to be able to you know, we get a phone call and it's, okay, well, we need jazz today. Okay, well, I can do that, show up, play that, and then phone call the next day that says, oh, well, we need a bunch of uh, Beethoven for this. And she goes, okay, well, whip it out and take it over there and play it, or, you know, try to be as versatile as possible. I usually feel really confident when I'm playing and uh, I don't think about a whole lot other than, you know, maybe different parts in the music that I um, need to make sure I do correctly or something like that. Well, I mean, I've been performing uh, pretty actively since I was about 12 years old. Um, I mean, that's recitals and, and going to and playing weddings and bars and all sorts of stuff, uh, you know, private parties and stuff like that. And one thing I've heard from almost 
every single uh, you know show or something I've ever played is somebody always tells me that they used to, you know they used to play piano when they were a kid or they used to play guitar when they were a kid and they really wish they wouldn't have quit you know or like oh you know I wish my parents would have let me quit wouldn't have let me quit and uh, I'm pretty grateful that my parents wouldn't let me quit because I really enjoy what I'm doing but if you're doing it now and you want to quit don't because you'll regret it when you're older